This harrowing rescue from the mangled wreck of a car shows the challenge for hundreds of firefighters. Still searching for survivors in the rubble of a motorway bridge that collapsed in Genoa. Dozens have been killed. The 50-year-old bridge collapsed during torrential rain on Tuesday, sending dozens of vehicles crashing onto a riverbed, a railway and two warehouses. This former professional footballer somehow survived the fall. I saw the road collapsing and I went down with it. I was lucky enough to land. I don't even know how, because if you saw my car, I didn't pass out. I remained lucid and called the fire brigade to let them know about the situation and to come and get me. Shock is turning to anger in Italy. Within hours of the disaster, the anti-establishment government that took power in June said Italy must spend more on its dilapidated infrastructure, ignoring EU budget constraints if needed. Transport Minister Danilo Toninelli saying the viaduct's operator must contribute to the cost of rebuilding and also pay heavy fines. He said he'd started the process of stripping the company, Autostrada, of its concession. But Autostrada said it had done regular checks to international standards on the bridge, which was renovated two years ago. Meanwhile, in the Vatican, Pope Francis sought to offer comfort to a grieving nation, offering prayers for the victims and their loved ones.